Hi guys, Kelly here, author of what I affectionately refer to as the ultimate guide to the cost of polyamory. And I came across this term while browsing Reddit, which is the darkest corner of the universe, and I realised that I had no true understanding of what polyamory meant, other than this preconceived idea that it's a bunch of old white men using it as an excuse to have orgies and cheat on their wives and not feel guilty. You know, that or it's Burning Man and giant mud orgies in the middle of the Nevada desert, but I digress. I'm happy to report that polyamory is nothing like that and is grossly misunderstood. What I found when I spoke to five different polyamorous people is that it's about love, companionship and yes, sex of course, but it's so much more than that. It's people of different backgrounds, ethnicities and economic statuses, practicing a way of life that's not necessarily in the forefront of popular culture just yet. And I wondered, how can I cover this to a sensei audience in a way that makes sense, but is also a little bit different from stuff that's been done before? And then it got me thinking, hell, it's so expensive just dating one person. How much money do poly people spend when they have several partners? Because, you know, we all love money. And if love and understanding can't bring us together, maybe money will. And what really blew my mind, apart from the extensive glossary of terms that poly people employ, is just how different each polyamorous relationship really is. For example, Suzanne has children with her husband, and they know and love their parents' respective partners. Jared wants to build a polyamorous domestic community, and Byron has a poly bank account for shared expenses between him and his partners. Now oddly, these five strangers seem to agree on one particular thing, and that's the difference between jealousy and envy. And of course, that's my first question, was do you not get jealous? And you know, the answer is just not as straightforward as we might think. So to get the full story, sit down with a nice cup of tea and open up Sensei.com.